train. How you doing? A little shiny. Boop, boop. All right, I never did these. Well, if I did them at night, I was in the old place and I had the kitchen counter and stuff, which had decent lighting. Um, but we'll just do the best we can. Look, we're almost done with this book. We're more than halfway through. And this is the last book. So you'll be rid of me soon. But this is, this is good. This is good. It helps, helps me and I hope it's helping you. In the secret of God's tabernacle, no enemy can find us and no troubles can reach us. The pride of man and the strife of tongues find no entrance into the pavilion of God. The secret of his presence is a more secure refuge than a thousand Gibraltars. I do not mean that no trials come. They may come in abundance, but they cannot penetrate into the sanctuary of the soul. And we may dwell in perfect peace, even in the midst of life's fiercest storms. Hannah Whittle Smith. Thank you, Hannah. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole person, sets the whole course of his life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. <laughs> oh, Jesus. James 3, 5 to 6. Well, yeah, I mean, communication is the key, right? Communication can ruin your life. Communication can uh, hurt people, ruin your relationships, um, but communication can also heal. Communication can also um, bring people together. I mean, it's, it is the thing. It's the thing. So if there's, um, yeah, if there's troubles in your relationships, probably because of communication or lack thereof. And it could be fixed with communication. But so few people can do that because it's not easy. But with practice, it is. So try it. Uh, ba -ba -ba. With the tongue, we praise our Lord and Father, and with it, we curse men. Men who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. James 3, 9 to 12. What causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? Hmm. You want something, but don't get it. You kill and covet, but you cannot have what you want. You quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasure. James 4, 1 to 3. I would say that that's very similar um, to things that Abraham Hicks says too. And if you want to learn more, I've talked about Abraham Hicks in other videos and you could just, there's millions of videos on Abraham Hicks and books, so do that. I recommend it. Uh, why am I discouraged? Why so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him, my savior and my God. Psalm 42, 5 to 6. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a good day. Peace out.